environmental awakening. Uh, thanks so much for joining us, uh, Doug. Good to see you. So Trump is the very first former president to have a congressional committee refer them to the Justice Department for criminal prosecution. And now this official recommendation from this bipartisan committee that he be permanently banned from ever holding political office again. How extraordinary is this? It's stunning, Jake. You and I didn't grow up thinking this would ever uh, be possible in the United States, a sitting president trying to throw a coup d'etat against our government. The January 6th commission uh, are really the stars in my mind of 2022. They stuck with it. They produced the uh, data and evidence that they needed to. They built their case in a methodical way. They unspooled it on the public in a smart way. And here we are at the holiday season and this report comes out and to read it is to have your eyeballs pop out because Donald Trump is guilty is all hell. There's no question about it. And in my mind, you cannot have somebody be a sitting U.S. president who already tried to throw a coup d'etat of, over your country. That would be like letting Benedict Arnold run George Washington's troops during the American Revolution. You know, it's interesting. Uh, so often during this Trump era, I think about I, I'm an I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a history uh, buff, not not a not an esteemed historian. But I do think a lot about how will history remember people and, and this era. And it just seems like some of these individuals uh, that are enablers of Trump uh, just don't even rem remotely think that way in terms of how is this going to look in 10 or 20 years? Yeah, because they have no soul and don't have a deep love for the country, they put self-interest or political power ahead of themselves. I mean, the story of Rudy Giuliani alone will be talked about for ages. It's important to realize that, though, Donald Trump is not really part of the president's club. He's an outlier. And in that way, he'll be remembered. He's going to have his fans, but it's more like Dillinger and Al Capone or Billy the Kid or something. There'll be a kind of folk cause around him. But he's an outlaw and somebody who in the end will be seen as um, an enemy of the U.S. Constitution. So you I might sell you some T-shirts in Gatlinburg in Tombstone, Arizona. I might keep Trump's image alive and well. But in, in the real game of history, which is serious in years to come, Trump and all of his enablers are going to be seen at the, on the you know, dunghill of, uh, of, of U.S. political you know, history.